Russia and China are developing deeper cooperation across all aspects of their relationship, political, economic, and military, from close ties between President Putin and President Xi, to increased economic and trade activity, to enhanced joint military exercises everywhere from the Baltic Sea to the South China Sea, it's clear that we're seeing stronger ties between the two, more so than we've seen in recent history. I also think it's important to keep in mind that this deepening relationship is occurring at a time of increasing Western disunity in an era of President Trump and populism on both sides of the Atlantic. And this perception and these changing geopolitical balances of power are adding credibility and confidence among Russian and Chinese leaders that they can pursue more assertive and aggressive policies with limited pushback. So going forward, I think it's important for Western policymakers to try and understand in what ways Russia and China could lend one another support, even if diplomatic support, in a time of confrontation between the United States and China, or the United States and Russia, or the EU and Russia. And at minimum, I think it's important for President Trump to acknowledge that as America first morphs into America alone, that America's authoritarian counterparts are looking a little less lonely. And in a time of great power competition, the best way for the United States and Europe to push back against assertive Russian and Chinese foreign policies is together in a transatlantic cohesive fashion.